What's up and welcome back. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are on Forza Motorsport 7 in search of my SSR Pro Car. My uh, teammate, Renga, who is also a good friend of mine, has been putting in work for me, tuning some cars on his free time while I'm in the daily grind as a BMW mechanic at work. So he's been doing the due diligence for me, getting some cars tuned up and uh, to SSR spec for me, and uh, throwing some basic tunes on there, seeing how it feels by himself. And then I'm going to test and tune them today and uh, see how they go. Definitely appreciate his help in this uh, search for my pro car. You know, he's very familiar with tuning and very familiar with, uh, you know, a wheel. He does use a G920. So definitely cool that I have team members and friends that will help me out in my endeavor and help me get some cars built when I don't have the time. So we're going to test and tune some of the cars that he has built today. He, we did modify the E92 a little bit, but I'm kind of shying away from it now because I'm noticing it's not as fast in the chase as I need it to be. So first and foremost, we're going to test two Nissans out today. One of the cars is actually his um, S13 that he's going to be running in SSR. If I can find it, I know I have his tune downloaded. And there it is. So this is his SSR car. It is 500 horsepower on 255s. He's going to be running an RB S13. So we are going to give his car a rip sounds really nasty and loud we did go back to the Alcatara suede energy innovations wheel because this is the wheel we are going to be using in comp so I need to get back comfortable with the feel of it compared to the wood grain so decided to throw the uh, the OG wheel back on I did get a chance to run his car a little bit uh, with him in some tandem so I'm gonna let you guys see those little tandem clips that we had from the other night before we get into just running this car solo I was a little bit shaky in the beginning but uh, not during the week maybe Friday no, no that's fine it, the reason I say is because Eric's an hour ahead of me and it's all what's it called Ooh, I actually like how this handles. The transition from for, uh, Inniclip 1 to Inniclip 2, I usually dab a little bit of handbrake because once you transition, it'll grip up quite quickly. So, in between this transition, oh. I'll tap the handbrake and you'll see it, <laughs> it spins really fast for my Fair Lady. So, my Fair Lady for Daytona was like. Minty's bass tune adapted with some of the stuff that I know and it's just like my Daytona uh, Fair Lady was just godly and then I took the RB gears all of that and some suspension tweaking and put them into this and now as you see this is nice. I have an SR tune but it's not as fast and it's way harder to drive because the SR is just hacker in SSR spec. You know, if you're going to use any of this in a video, can I give a quick shout out to somebody? Who's I that? know you know who it is. Can I say hello to T John if he actually watches the video? <laughs> TG does a lot. <laughs> I know uh, he does. That's why I want to give him a shout out on the channel <laughs> by me because I know he watches my stream and your videos. Well, Tej is uh, Tej is I don't know. He's not salty, but he's salty that I beat him in uh, Long Beach. <laughs> Ouch. It's alright, Aero is my best because I beat him at Daytona. I overtook him, didn't I? This is, I think it was a shifter additions. Oh, that's it. I'm good. That wasn't actually that bad of a run apart from that last call. That was not Daytona. really that bad of a run. I've been putting down like 89 point wins all day, and I just can't get that extra like 10%. You have to use it now. Yeah, it looks so good. 
an alien. Handles by very well. I'm actually very impressed. Cheers on you. Alright, so we're just gonna do this. We're gonna go full send on his on his S13. I don't think I'll be running the S13 in SSR. Um, as much as you guys know I love myself an S13. That was a way too early of initiation. I'm not gonna be running this car in SSR. Just wanted to bring it out here and kind of uh, throw it up there. I believe he does have the tune up. It is, I think it's public, SSR, um, RB, or RB SSR. So, he, like I said, he's been doing due diligence and doing me a solid and getting some cars tuned up for me. We have another S chassis to try out today, as well as a, another BMW to try out to see if we like one of those cars. I am have my shifter switched into sequential mode, basically like a dog box style transmission right on that oh I can see why he likes this car the car is very stable and it gains speed it's a pretty quick little car so we're gonna switch to the s chassis car that he worked on for me which is an s14 with a boss kit so we're gonna find where is my boss kit s14 I think it's up here there it is. And this car, I should probably look at the specs before I just go straight to it. I don't know why my uh, brake pedal is being a little weird right now. I think I gotta adjust my sensitivity. So we are on 265s at 500 horsepower, which is the max horsepower we can have. And we are at 2652. So it is two pounds heavier than the required weight for 265 so it's almost perfect I got my window open so I got birds chirping outside so hopefully that doesn't bother you guys too much because a little warm so this uh, S14 does have the big wang gang uh, wing on the car which I kind of kind of do like like the HRE, HRE wheels he put on this car so we're gonna go full send on this car see how we do with this car I haven't driven this car yet so And first impressions of it, it's pretty snappy and uh, it handles pretty well. So, oh, we're definitely just in a search to try to find the most comfortable SSR car that has the most speed because the E92 is great on lead, but the chasing is a little bit slow. So that's why I am looking into other cars that are not on 275s that are a little bit lighter that are in the 265 class and maybe the 255s. Gonna heat up our tires a little bit. Then we're gonna go full send on this car. So I may be running an S chassis and maybe still be running a BMW. We are just trying to find a car that I'm really comfortable in that handles very well and gains speed. And the initiation on this car was pretty sweet. A little bit slow on there, but I was able to just handbrake that and not hit brakes on that transition. Just a quick pull the handbrake there. A little bit over rotation, but that was probably my fault. I tried to get a little too gangster, snapping myself into that outer zone. Um, I am slowly trying to adjust my line and use less foot brake when it comes to the quick snap for interclip two, as well as transitioning into the second outer zone out there along that basically would be a wall ride if it was a wall but um, I found that I can slow the car down with just a quick handbrake flick a little more than a handbrake flick a little handbrake hold get to where I need to go get back on power and then use foot brake to keep myself on that line so we're gonna go try this car again a little bit fast on that 50 roll. Thought I initiated too early, but we didn't. Quick handbrake flick, little clutch kick. 
Probably ran that smidge deeper than I needed to. We did run that a little wider, but this is my first time out on this car. It does feel pretty good. I feel like the braking could probably be tweaked a little bit for my personal personal uh, preference because, like I said, this is his tune that I have downloaded. So it's his braking pressure that he was running. So mine and his brake pressures might be a little bit different based on the wheels we're on, but the basic feel of the tune is actually very solid. And I can't thank him enough for putting the work in for me and uh, helping me get cars tuned up with uh, my limited time that I have with uh, my work schedule. But of course, if I decide to use this, we will get basically it dialed in for my personal use. I kind of uh, felt that that initiation was a little bit off and I'm not sure if it was just me thinking I was going faster than it was or the handbrake just slowed me down a lot. Could be my tire pressures are really warm. Yeah, we are at 30 and 27, which is not bad. A little bit higher than I would like to be, but I believe he is running a bit higher of a tire pressure on this car than I usually run, but that can be fine-tuned in a final version of this car. That's better. The handbrake flick. Full, it was at full lock there. We were able to hold that. So that's a better, that's a better finish of that run. So, S14 boss kit. Definitely handles pretty well. Let me know what you guys think. We got one more car to test out today. And that is another BMW. And uh, it's a BMW that I've run before in some tandem at Long Beach and I liked how it followed, but that was car was built a little bit differently spec. So now we're gonna be running it in a SSR spec. We're running 265s, we're at 497 horsepower and we are at 2657, so seven pounds over the minimal weight we can have for 265s. And I, this car is single turboed Unlike the twin turbo that I come stock on, he did switch it down to a single turbo to help spool time, power band, and stuff like that. You know, the twin turbo will probably spool faster, but it seems to be quite good on power and torque with the single turbo set up on this car. And we're just going to quickly heat up our tires on our way. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which you found in the description box below. And then we're just gonna go straight into a 50 roll and see how this car handles. Hard flick in, quick on the brakes. That was a little bit shallow there, but we're able to still come off the line. feel like this car was the most stable through that final run on that outer zone and uh, seemed to get a lot of speed gained through the uh, through the outer zone on the exit. I was able to pull off some speed and gain some speed up. So for sake for sake of not having anything on my screen speed wise and all that stuff because I have it all on my tablet. I will put telemetry up and we're gonna run this in telemetry. You can also see my you can see my wheel input too at full nine hundred degrees. Got those birds. There's a nest right outside my window so I do apologize for the birds. I tried to throw that a little bit too much. I'm too focused on watching my telemetry that I'm thinking, uh, I'm not thinking about actually what I'm doing. So between the S S14 and this BMW 1 series, BMW 1M, 
I feel this car suits my driving style a little bit better. And I think I'll probably be running this BMW. Um, maybe some fine tweaking needs to be adjusted and all that stuff. But this tune is actually, uh, I took it off of his, uh, off of his stream when he was building the car. So this isn't a download tune so I can fine tweak my brakes and stuff like that how I feel fit. Without having to go through the hassle of getting all the numbers. Quick tap of the brace there. Yeah, I think I am most comfortable in this uh, that progressive handbrake, though. Most comfortable in this 1M. And I think this will probably be the car that I finalize my uh, finalized delivery and everything on for the team and stuff like that for SSR Pro. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should go S chassis or stick with the BMW? The 92 was kind of my go-to, but I'm noticing the chase is a little bit slower than I need it to be. And uh, I could probably tune some grip in that car and get the chase better, but... I'm starting to like the smaller wheelbase nim nimbleness of the uh, of this two of this one and the 240s. So I think we're going to stick with this one series. And I've done a lot of good chase work with this one series before, so I know the car is capable. And that's a way better run. So I think that'll do it here for this quick test and tune episode here on Forza Motorsport 7 for the search for my SSR Pro Car. Hope you guys are enjoying the SSR Climb. There's going to be tandem content coming once I finalize the car, which I think I may have finalized my car. Um, definitely going to be getting into more tandems with some other people. You know, TUS Renga, Anthem, if he comes back. I know Anthem is, uh, you guys remember Anthem from uh, the SSR round with Renga and I last time. Um, probably getting in with some of the other TUS guys and my tandem and stuff like that. So look forward to tandem content coming very soon as well as Torque Drift going to be coming back to the channel as well. FD this weekend, super excited. Pro 2 and Pro, Road Atlanta, going to be a good time. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. I'm going to go send this one more time. The birds are cheering me on outside. And we're just going to gonna rip it in there throw it in quick handbrake flick there no brakes needed a little bit too much but still pretty good so as always I thank you guys for watching I'm Evil Rabbit and I will see you guys next time